Will the clerk call the roll to uh, return to regular session? Commissioner Miller with Walter? Yes. Present. Present. Mayor Mahoney? Here. Thank you. Um, we are revisiting uh, uh, Manager Bain's report regarding the approval of the land acquisition consulting services uh, contract. Manager Bain, would you like to handle that? Certainly, and I, I guess I'd, I'd like to, everybody has a copy of my memo uh, and a copy of the um, proposed agreement. I, I can read this uh, uh, for the record, um, which I will do, and then see if there's uh, uh, further clarification needed. Um, and just that the village has identified a cost-effective route by which to bring its 16-inch water main from its current location in McCarthy Road just west of Wilcook to an area west of Bell Road to serve the western growth area properties. The village currently has easements and right-of-way to extend its water main along McCarthy Road to the center line of Bell Road. There are two options available to extend the water main further west. One, there's right away along the east side of Bell Road, which could be used to extend north along Bell, cross directly into Cog's property, and then uh, extend through Cog's property uh, through the Comad right of way and then down uh, south again to McCarthy. Second, and that would also serve Cog, uh, Glen Eagles, Mid Iron, and Ludwig and from that point. The more direct route and less expensive would be to use existing right of way. Uh, and, and obtain uh, necessary easements that are west of Bell Road uh, along McCarthy to extend our water main. It's approximately 1,530 feet uh, needed to uh, extend um, west. Uh, according to the calculations by the village engineer, the cost of water main installation under the second scenario, which is going straight down uh, west on McCarthy, uh, would have a $8,000 to $900,000 less uh, cost of construction than using scenario one, which is up Bell uh, and over through Cog. An effort to secure a path, extend the future water main uh, west of Bell Road. There are general, uh, there are several parcels that would need to be it would need to be acquired. Uh, I've uh, identified those in the various maps in your packet. Um, there's a, a parcel on the northwest corner. Uh, about 11 acre parcel uh, known as the Mirandi par property uh, that's on, in um, Lamont, uh, which would need to be crossed. There's also a parcel just west of that, which is unincorporated Lamont Township. Uh, and then there's a couple parcels that would have uh, right of way in front of it. And then we get into the ComEd right of way and then into a parcel uh, that is owned by Cog Hill. If this water main were extended uh, to the to the uh, Cog Hill parcel, uh, then it can be uh, directly brought south into Glen Eagles, and then into uh, Mid Iron into Ludwig. Um, we did identify a consultant uh, that has worked for various municipalities, counties, the state, and the Coal Highway Authority, and Mark Matthewson of Matthewson Right of Way. Uh, he could be contracted uh, to assist in the easement acquisition. Um, Mark has been used as an expert in these areas, uh, like I said, for, for many other agencies. Uh, he has developed a fee schedule, a uh, fee not to exist, uh, exceed $29,000. But that fee is not all his. It includes uh, obtaining title commitments, uh, necessary appraisal work, uh, his negotiating services, and then closing uh, fee services. Uh, there are some fixed costs in there, and some uh, of this may not be needed depending on the parcel of property that we're looking at. Uh, he did provide a, a not to exceed cost, so there's no surprises at the other end. Um, so I, I want to see if there's any questions relative to what I've presented so far. Any questions? Why is this contract being brought before the council at this particular point in time? This is Commissioner Reed speaking. Right, Commissioner, um, this was in, in looking at how we get to our path. We've looked at several ways over the time of which way, which route we would even engineer a water line extension west of Bell. We've had the uh, line uh, on to the 
east side of Bell Road along McCarthy, engineered um, and pretty much permitted since 2016. We've never answered the question of going west. Uh, we do have uh, um, you know, some parcels that are interested, uh, including um, Cog Hill and uh, Glen Eagles, who's looking for a commitment uh, on, a, on a water main. Okay, I'll ask the question again because you didn't answer. Why now? I'll answer the question. Uh, Glen Eagles has filed a disconnection suit from the, the village of Palos Park. And they have cited our inability to get the utilities to their property as a reason why they seek to disconnect. We are trying to alleviate these reasons so that Glen Eagles will stay in Palos Park. So that's the urgency to the matter um, uh, presently. So if we were to vote on this in two weeks versus tonight, will, they be, will there be a material impact on what it is we're trying to do? In my view, yes. And the material impact is that we've been moving quickly to work with Glen Eagles to assure them that we can bring utilities to their property line. So two weeks might not make a difference, but it might. So I guess the question I would have for you, Commissioner Reed, is what do you need to know that you don't know? I did not come prepared tonight to be cross-examined. I think I have the courtesy of saying, let's delay. If you don't want to delay, that's fine. But I did not believe, and I don't believe, that I have an obligation to expound in detail on a matter that I just received on last week without being given the courtesy of going into detail and asking probing questions. I don't think I should be required to do that in open session. That's fine. Commissioner Reed, you had the information when I had it. When we had this conversation, there was an email sent out to you, and I said to Manager Bain, we need to get this information as quickly to the commissioners as possible. So I understand that we're not giving you a lot of time. I just believe that there's an urgency to this. You know, would it be fatal if we waited two weeks? I can't say that. I just think it's best if we vote now. That's all. It's simple as that. And that's fine. I think I've stated my position. I am not prepared to vote on this tonight. If you folks want to go ahead, fine. My vote will be no. Is there information that we, we could provide to you now that would assist you in no. that regard? No. Okay. We're in the middle of a pandemic. I mean, my God, you got people who are out of work and doing a whole lot of other stuff, and we're talking about spending money. Yeah, we have an obligation to bring water and sewer out there. I don't doubt that. But this rush, that's the thing that's got me upset. We don't have to do this tonight. And anyone that says we do, well, okay, that's your opinion. And I think we have, I can agree to disagree and doing it agreeable. I don't disagree um, with, obviously you have your opinion, uh, Commissioner Reed, and you are completely entitled to it. I'm just going to state for myself that based on the fact that I feel that the route that this water will get to all the properties that we are in our Western annexation group is the best route and that these will be needed regardless of whether Glen Eagles and, or whoever is involved. Um, I think that taking this step forward is a, um, prudent step 
it is going to be a step that's going to have to happen at some point in time. And I'm in favor of pushing forward, keeping the momentum going, because I feel that people feel like they're being heard and that things are being taken seriously if there is continued momentum. And that's just my position, but I understand yours. I don't object to the route. I never have said and I never will say that. I don't object to us getting water and sewer out there. The only thing I'm objecting to is the timing of this contract tonight. That's the only thing I'm objecting to, period. Okay. I'm not prepared to run this through if Commissioner Reed is not ready to vote. So I would seek a motion to table this discussion to a meeting to, to our next council meeting. Make that seek a motion to continue this matter to the next village council meeting. Yes. Do you want to make that motion, Commissioner Reed? So do I make a motion to continue the matter that's currently being discussed until the next open session? Second. Will the clerk please call the roll? Commissioner Reed. Yes. Commissioner Pope. Yes. Commissioner Milovich Walters. Yes. Mayor Mahoney. Yes. Um, is there any further business that we have before the council? No. I would. Uh, I would seek a motion to adjourn at this time. Do you want public comment or no? We, we, ne we never went to public comment. Yeah, we did. We did. Sorry. Uh, I move to adjourn. Uh, will the clerk please call the roll? Commissioner Polk. Yes. Commissioner Milovich Walters. Yes. Commissioner Reed. Yes. Mayor Mahoney. Yes. Be safe out there, folks. Thank you all and good evening. Thank you.